Hey everybody, Steve Ritter here. Uh, another one of these devotions, these seem to be uh, fairly popular. Um, and I, I guess more importantly, I guess some, some folks have really been encouraged by them and, you know, a, a good word uh, in due seasons like, like rain, like on, on a parched land, right? So I just, I was reading um, one of the, the books I got from, from Mom's house. Um, there were some devotional books that I got from room uh and i was looking through and i've been going through them now it's like a daily devotional and i was reading one the other day that i wanted to share that really kind of struck and i really I'm letting it marinate you know with the cooking theme here but i'm kind of letting it marinate a little a little bit um over the last couple of days really thinking about it but um it this came from um psalm 51 1 and it says have mercy upon me O god According to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. And the key word there, mercy, and I was thinking about that. And, and the point in this devotional, I was talking about, about God's mercy, that we get to a point sometimes in our lives where we feel like we do something wrong and, and we feel so bad about it. And, and we feel bad about going to God and asking forgiveness for it. And the point in this devotional was like, you should never feel that, never get to that point where, where you feel like you can't come to God and ask for, for mercy, for forgiveness. And I, I, that struck me because, I mean, we think about a lot of times we, we try to put God in a, in a, in a human-sized box, I think, sometimes. We feel like we, we put him in... And we package him into something where we, we see, you know, what, what we would do. And, and I think about that a lot. I, I'm like, you know, I, that's kind of like what Jesus said when, when, when the disciples came to him and said, well, how many times do I forgive my brother? You know, seven times? And he said, no, 70 times. Seven. It's the same kind of idea. It's, it's like, well, how can God forgive me? Because I don't think that I deserve it, but that but that's not the point. God is is love. God is mercy. And and what is mercy? And I and I always like this story. I, I I'm a history kind of a history buff, and um, one of the characters or one of the the figures in history uh, I've read a, a, quite a bit about was Napoleon, and everybody thinks about Napoleon as this this short guy. If you if you ever watched Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, you're know, short short dead dude no and actually i don't think he was that short he was just shorter than a lot of the his guards anyway um napoleon um he uh there was a story about uh this particular general that that had been arrested and he was on trial he was put on trial and he was sentenced to death and there was some machinations by some folks to get his his daughter there um to, to, to beg for his life. Because Napoleon had gotten to the point where he's like, I, I don't, I'm, I'm tired of seeing parents of condemned men and I, I just, uh, you know, I, it, it was, I, I'm i sure it was emotionally taxing on him. But anyway, they, they worked it out and he was walking in one day and this girl busts out, runs up and grabs hold of him of his, and falls down on her knees, grabs hold of his, of his knees and holds on and, and was begging for mercy. Uh, you know, well, and she said, well, who's, who's this for? And she said, well, I'm the daughter of this, this general that's been sentenced to death. And she said, and he's like, oh, I'm, I'm familiar with this case. And, and, um, uh, he's like, you know, uh, no, he, he, uh, he, he must, must face justice for what he did. And, and the, the daughter said, well, sir, it's not justice I'm, I'm looking for, it's mercy. And Napoleon's like, well, what has he done to deserve mercy? And the daughter looked him, looked at him and said, well, sir, if he deserved it, it wouldn't be mercy. And I think about that, and I kind of tie that in with that verse and and, and with God. And, and, you know, we none of us deserve mercy, do we? If, if we did, it wouldn't be mercy. Mercy is you're forgiven when you don't deserve it. And that's God's mercies, God's tender mercy that he gives on us each day. None of us deserve it. You know, he gives it freely. When I think about that, that's a powerful thing. I think about a lot. Um, 
So I, this, this is one little quote from that devotion. It says, God wants us to pray, and he wants, us, and he wants to hear our prayers, not because we're worthy, but because he is merciful. So never feel like you can't come to God. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you today and uh, hope everybody's doing fine. And uh, it's about time for me to get back in the kitchen, cook something else up for the ravishing Mrs. Ritter. So um, anyway, I hope uh, everybody's doing fine and uh, we'll see you, see you next time. Take care.